why, but like as I was food shopping, because you know, this whole thing that's going on, and everyone's like, oh, you need water, you need to stock up, and I'm like, okay. And then I started thinking about it, and I'm like, you know what, these people are making billions, because there's always billions when there's a crisis, right? When there's fear, it's because they want to make money, right? They've released trillions of dollars into the government, right? Apparently we had it, um, so that they can take care of whatever's going on, right? But I was just thinking when they're, they have records of what people are buying in this time of crisis. So they know how to minimize the numbers to create chaos the next time there's a crisis because people freak out when there's not enough, right? So they're like, oh, people are buying water, they're buying this, they're buying that. Next time we'll have less on supply, people will freak out and then we can start causing like a, like a Z Nation pandemic where people are like trying to survive and they're like breaking into each other's houses to get all this stuff, you know, and blah, 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 blah. I know it's pretty far-fetched, but so far every single thing that I've ever said is happening. Every single thing. Time delay. I get my messages and then there's a time delay. So that's probably why I'm always prepared for everything. <laughs> you know, and just so you guys know, I've lost my sense of smell and my sense of taste. So last week, Tuesday, I went to the gala event. Everything was fine, right? Cause I know that I, I could smell properly. I could taste everything. Friday, I went out and I smelled bleach when I walked outside of my house. And then I smelled um, cleaning chemicals when I went to Astoria to go do a job real quick. And ever since then, I think I've lost myself taste and touch. I can tell when something's spicy, like my taste buds are still active, but I can't necessarily taste it. Like I don't taste sweet, I don't taste salty, I don't taste, I, I could, I could feel the texture. Like I know if it's mushy, if it's cold, if it's hot, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm, I'm all about texture now, but I don't taste anything. And I don't know if it's because my body's like, I have a sinus infection, cause that, that could be part of it. Or if my body's like, you need to lose weight. Like this is how you're gonna do it. If you can't enjoy food, you're not gonna stress eat, right? I have no desire to eat ever, all day, every day. I have to like, oh, I have to eat today because if you can't smell, you don't get tempted by the smells of the food that other people have or if they're barbecuing outside. Um, when you drive by McDonald's, you're not tempted to stop at McDonald's because you can't smell it. Um, you know, and then if you can't taste it, then you can't crave it. Like, I don't taste anything anymore. And part of me is like, oh, you know, part of me is like, it's okay because you've, ate at some of the best restaurants in the world and you've had ex amazing experiences and tried food and I can remember it. <laughs> I do, I remember it. Um, and sometimes you lose a sense to gain another sense. So I'm like, maybe the reason I'm so intuitive lately is because I lost my sense of smell. So now my other senses are heightened and they're heightened. Oh, they're all heightened. <laughs> Everything's heightened. Um, but I wanted to share that with you guys because I don't know if I'm the only person that's lost their sense of smell and taste. Was there something in the air that we breathed in and then it caused that? Is it a sinus infection? Because um, I've never had a sinus infection like this before. So I don't know. I just wanted to put that out there too in case I'm not the only one. If you know somebody, then clearly something's up. <laughs> um, but yeah, so those are the things that I was thinking of is now they have a record or an idea of how much money they can make for every crisis. They also have a record and an idea of how much they need to have in stock for a crisis. And they also have a record and idea of how much they could, or how they could use that data to create a crisis. Does that make sense? And the last thing I wanted to say was everyone always talks about like our ancestors being primitive I think they had better technology. I think they were smarter than we were. I think the only reason that there's no trace of them is because they were green er than we are. We're going towards that green evolution and that green society, but we still leave our mark. They didn't leave a mark because they were smart enough to make everything green, disposable, um, efficient. So I'm gonna go, I have like tons of bags of groceries right now because Gotta make sure I can survive. Plus I have a feeling someone's coming to visit again. And this time I'm gonna let them, cause, cause I am. Okay, bye.